One of the most beneficial features of Google Search Console is its reports and metrics. In this video, we'll discuss popular reports you should be aware of. We'll also cover terms and features in those reports. Let's start with the overview page. This is the page you will see after logging into Search Console. While not a report, this is still an important page to understand. The overview page shows a summary of your site's health, including any security issues, graphs of metrics, and summaries of enhancements for the site, such as structured data. You should check on this page periodically to ensure that there are no security issues or enhancement errors. Also, confirm there are any dips in the click count to the website. If they are found, you should investigate the cause. The website performance report focuses on several SEO related metrics. Let's quickly cover some of those. Impressions are how many times your site has been seen by someone in Google search. Clicks are how many times a searcher clicked on your website's results in the SERPs. The click through rate is the percentage of people who saw your listing and then clicked on it. The average position is where your site ranks in the search result. Position one is the top position. See, all these metrics are connected. For example, if your website receives a lot of impressions, but its average position in the SERPs is below, it won't receive many clicks. If the website isn't receiving many clicks, then its click-through rate will be low as well. Another report to review is the links report. This shows which websites link to yours, what the link text is, and what your top linked pages are. Use this report to better understand which web pages are receiving the most links from other websites. Ask yourself, why is this page receiving more links than other pages? Also, you can use the links report to determine if the website is linked to by spammy or useful sites. If it's linked by spammy sites, you can generally ignore them. The coverage report shows the index status for all pages in your site. Pages are grouped according to whether they are or can be indexed. Also included is a description of why the pages could or could not be indexed. Use the coverage report to periodically scan for spikes and errors or drops in index counts to identify crawling problems on your site. Another report to review is the manual actions report. A manual action is Google's way to demote or remove web pages that are not in compliant with its webmaster quality guidelines. Typically, manual actions are for websites or web pages that try to manipulate the search index. An example of why a manual action is placed against a website is if it has been keyword stuffing. If you follow Google's quality guidelines, it's likely your website won't receive a manual action. Still, it's important to check the report in Search Console to confirm. The security issues report lists indications that your site was hacked or behavior on your site that could potentially harm a visitor or their computer. An example of this is installing unwanted software on a visitor's computer. If you do see a security issue in this report, Google will provide details about the issue and how to fix it. While there are several more reports in Search Console, those are some of the more popular and important ones. As a beginner in digital marketing, you'll use these reports to better understand how a web page is performing in Google Search. You'll also use it to identify any major issues with the website, such as if it's been hacked or its pages are not being indexed. Google Search Console is a really helpful tool to learn and implement SEO. Great work.